Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. Radiologic technology training is no laughing matter. It involves 24 consecutive months of training, both in the classrooms as well as clinical environments. Students must undergo comprehensive testing, procedure performance evaluations, multiple clinical rotations, and registry preparations. There are a variety of persons that choose to apply to x-ray school. Many have medical experience, while others have performed well in prior schooling. Each school typically enrolls anywhere from 15 to 30 students on average. However, the attrition rate or drop-off rate can be as high as 25%. Many colleges and trade schools try to curb this problem and encourage students to stay the course, but inevitably, some simply cannot finish. Here are the top five reasons why x-ray students drop out of school. Number five, change of heart. Some who enroll in these programs are immediately exposed to a variety of environments that can prove to be a little jarring and disturbing. Many x-ray schools require rotations in surgery, emergency medicine, intensive care, fluoroscopic procedures, mammography, nuclear medicine, and more. It is not unusual for some people to decide that these type of environments do not work for them. Number four, conflicting time restraints. X-ray school is a full-time endeavor. It requires focusing one's attention six to ten hours per day. Many students attempt to hold a job, particularly in the first year, but this can get a little dicey over time. Students who are parents or guardians can find themselves in need of assistance from family members and friends, and if that isn't possible, it can result in a discontinuation of their schooling. Number three, personality differences. This reason can be sorted out with different definitions or labels, but the bottom line is that some folks just aren't ready to commit to programs on this scale. The reasons can be many. A person may desire to sow their oats a little more. They may have conflicting interests. They may have very unhealthy habits or legal problems. They may demonstrate a severe lack of discipline. They may even find themselves at odds with techs or trainers. Whatever the reason, this is an ongoing crisis with some individuals who simply need to sort things out, even if it means removing themselves from school. Number two, low grades. This is the end all to every training program. It is monumental for students to up their game and make the grades. Techs must master their knowledge and skills well enough to independently support departments across the hospital and clinic spectrum. Instructors have no choice but to keep the bar high and assure their constituents that they are adequately preparing their graduates to be proficient in their trade. Number one, lack of finances. Due to the lengthy commitment of x-ray programs, there are a lot of expenses that a student will incur. This includes tuition costs, uniform and equipment expenses, training costs, textbook and application costs, living costs, and meals. It is important to plan for this when applying or attending these schools. All of these factors considered, radiology school isn't insurmountable. It simply requires commitment, dedication, and discipline. And there is a plethora of resources for students to leverage to help them over the line, including us here at The Radiology Coach. Trust me when I say it is well worth it when graduation day comes. That concludes this episode of The Top 5 Reasons Why X-Ray Students Drop Out of School. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.